Gurmeet asked, what should be the mental preparedness before a match in order to decrease nervousness? So first, I'll say that if you're feeling nervous before a match, that's good. A bigger problem is if you're not feeling nervous because nerves mean excitement and that's a good thing. But see, if you imagine it like a graph, you don't want those, though, that excitement to pass into a state that's going to actually impede your play and make you play worse. So it's about finding a balance where you're excited, even if you're nervous, it energizes you to try to perform better. But at a certain point, those nerves can be crippling and they can overtake your mind so that you're not clear on what strategy or game plan you're going to use. So for me, something that I use at a lot of the big tournaments like the Olympics and the World Championships, because that, that, those would make me even more nervous, was to take about half an hour before the match to go by myself and just take some deep breaths and remember what really counts. Think about your family, think about your friends, think about things that you know are not going to change no matter what the outcome of the upcoming match. And by doing that, by breathing deeply and slowly, that's gonna tell your body, that's your brain's way of telling your body, oh, okay, we don't need to panic, we're gonna be okay. And then it also helps you find the motivation because win or lose in a match, it really doesn't matter. Just to be out on the badminton court, challenging yourself to be the best player you can be, that's what matters. And as soon as you take the result out of the equation, you're actually much more free to play your best badminton. But if you're obsessed with winning, then it fogs your mind away from being relaxed enough to play your best badminton. So I hope that helps with that. Let me know.